Hey you guys, Matt Allen, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bassin and welcome back to another of our holiday buyer's guides. Today, we're talking jerk baits. <music> All right, today we are talking everything jerkbait. Again, just like all the other buyer's guides, trying to really simplify that for you. This was a hard one. You know, we had to go back and forth with different baits, different depths, but we narrowed it down for you and we have some winners. We do. So what we've done is we've broken jerkbaits into just a few categories. Essentially, cold water baits, Warm water baits or more aggressive baits is probably a better way to put that. And then we've got some finesse options for you. And that, and then some gear. And we kept it really simple. Uh, I'll take these first two, because really they're one. First off, talking cold water jerk baits. You are not going to get more refined, more balanced, more dialed than a Mega Bass Vision 110. Now, within the 110, it's a system. There's a variety of baits. My two key baits are the 110 and the 110 plus one. The difference, the bait is identical. The difference is the size of the lip and the lip angle. The 110 is for fishing shallower. The plus one is for fishing deeper. You don't necessarily even need both. What you need to analyze is, hey, on my lake, do I normally go down the bank? Am I just fishing down the shoreline? Or am I typically fishing points, throwing off the end of a point, fishing bluffs, places that are a little bit deeper than you get the appropriate bait. But the plus one is hands down the, the bait that set the bar in jerkbait fishing, right? That's how the 110 became the most popular size for a jerkbait. Almost everybody puts out a 110 size now. That's how you know they set that gold standard and they continue to be that gold standard, especially in cold water. The reason why I say cold water is that these baits are balanced extremely well. When the water is warm, you don't necessarily need balance because when you work a jerk bait, you're working it quickly and aggressively. Twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause. It doesn't have time to do much on those pauses. Now, winter time, cold water, right now, you're talking about baits that need to hover they need to sit because if that bait wants to rise or it wants to sink and we're twitching and then giving it a 10 count or a 15 count before the next bump, when you go to do your next bump, you're snagged because you paused and during that time, your bait sunk and stuck to a log. So having a bait that's balanced and refined is critical for cold water fishing. And that's why my number one pick is that 110. Yeah, Matt hit the nail on the head with talking about water temps and affecting how jerk baits work. Like he said, if you're fishing warm weather, weather, springtime, summertime, fall, you're getting real aggressive. You're not letting that bait sit. It's all over the place. Doesn't matter. But when you're fishing the dead of winter, cold water, a lot of times you change up that cadence to a long pause. Rip, rip, let it sit 10, 15, 30 seconds rip you don't like you said you don't want that bait on the bottom you don't want it on the surface so the 110 mega bass is the standard as far as uh jerk baits with that the, the whole system that matt talked about this is the 110 junior mm -hmm. and the 110 junior plus one i don't need to say much more than what he already said about the 110 right. it is the standard but what i will say is we probably agree on this this is the bait the 110, 110 Junior, junior plus, one. plus One for me has it. This is the one that I primarily reach for when I pull out my jerkbait box with cold weather. Uh, it just is the right size, the right depth, the right profile. <laughs> 110 Plus One Junior. It's just a winner. So if you had to get one, they are a little pricey. There's yep. a reason for it. Go with this guy. Uh, now let's talk more about that more reactive style of bait so coming into winter and then going into the pre-spawn starting about february i start transitioning back into more aggressive jerk baits 
and my jerk page just walked away from me. All right, all right. <laughs> These well, are almost the same. I'll, I'll that's talk true. about these. It's true. More aggressive jerk baits tend to pull fish farther. We're fishing them faster. They tend to be louder. And something that is critical for me is that they have more flash. They shine more light because that increases the drawing power. A fish will come a certain distance to eat a bait. When these baits are flashing and they're loud and they're obnoxious in that pre-spawn murky water, they just draw the fish farther. So this, you know what I've decided? We're incapable of talking about baits without teaching. We just can't do it. You just realize this? Yes. I sit over here most of the time like, okay, uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. <laughs> this isn't a seminar, but let's go. It is a seminar. There's no way around it. All right. My next one is the Jackal Rearrange. This is a bait with a ton of flash, a ton of body roll. If you look at these baits, they're wider on the back than they are in the belly. And as a result, when you twitch them, they roll. And when they roll, they just throw light. Uh, this is a bait that I love throwing in the pre-spawn and I love throwing in the fall. It is just a deadly bait. I fish them fast and aggressive with short pauses and the fish blast them. Talking about flashing and showing light, uh, Shimano last year came out with these guys right here. They have flash boost. You guys can see this. We've done dedicated videos on this bait, but they've suspended a piece of foil in the body that when this bait is paused, it still shimmies and shows that flash that you're talking about when you're ripping that jerk bait. Yep. So this is the World Minnow and the World Diver. The only thing that is different is the bill. So that's gonna change your depth. Shallow water, a little bit deeper water, but they have that flash boost. These are quickly becoming one of my favorite warm water jerk baits. One thing I'll add is that straight out of the box, they have pretty stout hooks on them. And I found that on my favorite jerkbait rod, which we're gonna get to, I'm able to pull really hard against those fish. More pressure than I'm used to putting on a jerkbait fish because the hooks are, I mean, they're not big or stout by any means, but they're bigger and stouter. I'm still able to throw them on 10 pound fluoro, but I can lean on them. And that has made a big difference for me, especially early and late in the season when water temps start to creep back up or are coming back down in the fall and the fish are really strong because a fish in the dead of winter doesn't pull as hard as a fish in september or march when those fish are pulling hard those hooks make a big difference yeah the thing for me is the hooks that come on the 110s those are like as light as you possibly they're can. light uh they got the outside barb but um you know a lot of guys talk about changing those out but that's going to mess with the the float and the sink of the bait. But when you're fishing this in cold water, like Matt said, those fish aren't pulling as hard. You can get away with lighter line. Mm -hmm. You don't have to horse them. But uh, yeah, these do come with a lot stouter of hooks mm -hmm. than the Mega Bass. All right, two, I'm just gonna steal both of these. Yeah, I'll just do this the finesse category here really quick. And why don't you talk about line? Um, these two, talking about downsizing, because when you're picking a bait, one of the biggest things, as much as flash versus a bait that will suspend, another thing that's really important is size of bait fish. Sometimes you're on a fishery where the bait fish are just smaller or it's a time of year where they're just smaller. I have two baits that I really like. This is the Lucky Craft Flash Pointer in the 100 size. The other size is, is a big bait. This one is really small. That 100 size is deadly when they're chasing smaller baits. I've caught a ton of fish in that five to eight pound range on this bait over the years. It's a deadly bait. Again, it's the flash pointer. It's got a similar body shape where it wants to roll as you're working it. Throws a lot of light and it's a really good option. The other one is from 13 Fishing. This is the Whipper Snapper. It comes in two sizes. One is like a standard size. This is the little guy, and that's the one I'm specifically talking about. When they're running little bait, when that's what they're on, that little whippersnapper, it's got a deeper diving lip, it fishes well down to, I'm probably fishing it really effectively in like five to seven foot, somewhere around there. It gets down really well, uh, and I've caught a bunch of fish on it, 
in that downsized profile. And when that's the deal, it's the deal and you need a downsized bait. Right. That's why I really like that that junior size yep. Mega Bass. Uh, as far as line, keep it very simple. Typically, I throw jerk baits on 8, 10, and 12. Depending on the fish that I'm targeting, depending on the depth that I want to reach. The smaller the line diameter, the deeper the bait will actually go. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm fishing in the springtime around largemouth or for largemouth, I'll probably go 12 mm -hmm. with that more aggressive world minnow or re-range. If I'm fishing cold water, water clear water, I'm going to downsize and go with that 8 and slow down that cadence. So really, really simple. Uh, as far as rods, um, we have our favorites. You want yep. to, uh, let you talk about your favorite. I'll talk about an alternative and then we can talk about the spinning. Sounds good. Uh, my favorite jerk bait rod, hands down, Shimano X Pride 610 Medium. We have preached this rod for years. Any rod, any brand, any price point, that's my favorite jerk bait rod, period. I pair it up to a Shimano Aldebaran. I spool that up with either 10 or 12 pound Sunline Super FC Sniper. Uh, that is my setup. More often than not anymore, it used to be primarily 12 pound. More often than not, I find myself leaning on 10 now. Uh, but that's my setup and it's an incredible balance because a jerk bait is one of the most difficult baits to find a rod for. There's plenty of rods that kind of work, but the problem with a jerk bait is you need a crisp rod to get the movement out of the bait. Sharp movement, sharp pauses, nothing in between. But then when you hook them, you've got them on little treble hooks. Now you need a rod that bows up and keeps them from throwing it. That balance is almost impossible. That's the best rod I've ever found to do that. With that said, if you guys are looking for a, a budget alternative to that rod, the Corrado lineup has the 610 medium. Same exact action. Exactly. Same exact action. And then paired up with a Corrado 70. It's a lot like the Alder Baron. Obviously, it's a little bit heavier. But this is a sweet setup if you don't want to spend that much money on a, right. you know, a jerkbait specific rod. But this thing is great. Like I said, it has the same action as that X Pride 610 medium paired up with a Corrado 70. That is a winner. One more for you. Some people prefer to throw the jerk bait on spinning. And for years, I've ignored it. And the reason why I've ignored it is you think it's hard to find a perfect bait caster to throw a jerk bait. It's borderline impossible to find a spinning rod action that can actually do it effectively. After so much experimenting, I finally have one that I'm willing to say, yes, that's the one. Uh, this is the Mega Bass Orochi in the Ronin. The model is called a Ronin. That is it. That's a V1 spinning rod that I'm super comfortable throwing the jerk bait on. I typically fish it. Well, I pair it up with a Vanford. That's the reel I've got on it. And then I typically throw really light on spinning. So I'm throwing braid to leader. And I, I don't even know how light my braid is. Way light. I'll figure out what it is. I'll link it in the video description for you. My leader is eight pound. Uh, and that is that vision 110 plus one junior. Uh, but that Ronin is a really, really amazing option for throwing the jerk bait on spinning. And that, let me talk color really quick before we wrap it up. Just one last thing. Oh, we're going to keep going. Yeah, no way around it. All right. Last but not least, color is critical with jerk baits. And in the video description, we're going to link you guys our favorite colors for each bait like we always do. But one thing I want to say on color is that if you are just trying to get bit on a jerk bait, those really natural colors get the most bites, period. If you're, if you're trying to find a jerk bait bite, day in and day out, they get bit the most often. But once you have located a jerk bait bite, you've got fish that will eat it. I immediately go to the more obnoxious, bright, bold, harsh colors because I found that I never have a magical day on a dull color. That's how I find a bite because they work day after day after day. But once you've got a bite going, 
you start experimenting with bold color and you'll find one that they're just going crazy for. And that's how you go from catching 10 jerkbait fish to 70 jerkbait fish the same day. Those incredible days that people think don't even exist, they typically happen on those bright, bold colors. And then you come back the next day and they won't touch it. So stick to natural colors to find them, but we'll link you some of our favorite bright colors as well, because that is how you find that magic. Cool, anything else? No, I think I'm done. <laughs> Guys, uh, we're gonna link everything like Matt said down below in the video description. We'll link our favorite colors, our favorite uh, baits for depths, warm, cold weather, weather, and then we'll link our favorite combos, line, reel, all that good stuff. If you guys have any questions, please leave those down below in the comment section. We'll try to get those to you, get to those as soon as possible for you for the uh, for the holiday and uh, share this video with your loved ones. That's what these videos are for yep. so that they can go out and purchase the right stuff that you want for the holidays. Guys, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you on the next video.